Yeah. Awesome, guys. I'm back with another uh, Jasmine video. Guys, uh, there is uh, so much of uh, good stuff happening here. In the past uh, two days, uh, we uh, made some nice gains from about uh, 80, 85 uh, cents to 150. So uh, like a nice 70, 80% gain. Uh, only yesterday, in last 24 hours, we have 18% gain, so which is good, which is we are, we are getting... Um, getting uh, bullish at the moment um look okay so um <clears throat> volume is 514 million dollars which is 64 percent higher than the previous days that that's why the, the the price went up as well because there was higher uh buying pressure than the selling pressure um guys but one thing like serious to get like i i i need to mention this uh, so basically i was talking about, about this supply for, for for a long time and, and I said that there is 50-60% for sure circulation uh, uh, coins in circulation because you cannot have 70 million market cap and 514 million dollar of 24 hour volume. But the funny thing is, seriously, I, I, I am sure that uh, there is only very few of you who looked into um, this detail uh, that uh, uh, basically one of you mentioned in the, in the comments. Like seriously, uh, who looked into uh, into these? I, I, I guess ninety five percent didn't. So basically, if you go on this uh, this blue blue button here, so basically here they say uh, the coin market cap uh, a team has verified the project circuiting supply to be full. So the the, the, the coin market cap uh, uh, basically. As per their calculation, there is uh, 4.7 uh, billion coins in circulation. However, according to the project itself, it's self-reported, uh, self-reported uh, coins and self-reported market cap are as follows: self-reported supply 30.8 uh, billion, and the market cap is 460 million dollars. Who the fucking crazy? Um, um, I mean, the, the, the coin market cap is just crazy. So coin market, market cap is a site where you list your uh, uh, certain coins that you basically uh, want to put front of people there so they can find there, they can buy into it and so on and so on. But the coin market cap job is to list, uh, to, to review if the project is legit or not. And if, if, if it is to, to let it list uh, uh, on, uh, on the, their site and uh, to <coughs> put into the, uh, the numbers into the site, which which are the realistic uh, numbers, right? So whatever the team reports to them in terms of circuiting supply and total supply, <laughs> they should input it, right? So, I mean, what does this information mean? Uh, the coin market cap team has verified the project circuiting supply as follows 4.7. However, as per the team, there is 30 billion. It's not, it's not however. <laughs> You need to just correct it here and put uh, 30.8 billion in circulation, and that's it. Because, as I said, maybe five percent of people only look into this this sign here and then look can, are able to read all this information. People just come here. Okay, 10 percent of the circulation. There is a high inflation. I'm not sure if if I'm going to invest or not. But then, if people would go here and see 30 billion out of 50, it's like about 60 percent um, of in, in circulation. That's good because that's not not much more coins that can be uh, dumped on the market, which is which is great, right? So this is very stupid uh, from the coin market cap, in my opinion. They should correct it and put the correct numbers here and don't X smart that as per them is 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 uh, 4.75 and as per the team is for put how much of the team said it's their coin, not yours. So quite uh, stupid in, in my opinion. Okay, uh, guys. Uh, but uh, this project, guys, is listed on Binance, Coinbase, Getaio, KuCoin, Huobi Global, Bitfinex, Bybit, Bitrex, Kraken, all the biggest exchanges. I mean, this this coin when the bull market kicks in, this is gonna 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 fly like there is no tomorrow, for sure. I mean, is is so much potentially in in the Jasmine, but there are some shady stuff that I don't like. But still, if if you ask me, is there a potential? A huge potential there. Okay, let's do the ne let's go to the next thing here. Basically. Uh, you know guys that i was investigating these wallets that they're using um and uh in a, this is now two and a half weeks uh and i said that uh, there are good amazing news because the the, the basically the, the owners the project stopped dumping the coins uh, on the market and uh, these all these whale wallets these big wallets are not emptied they are same as they were which is which is amazing 
on uh, three, three, four days ago that I made a video on Binance 8 wallet had exactly the same amount of coins. Uh, this one as well, uh, the, these, these, all these wallets have the same amount of coins. So that means that they are not uh, dumping these coins on the market. That's why you can see that the prices are going up as well. So as soon as basically the team decides to not dump any more coins, the price goes up. And in the past two and a half weeks, they stopped dumping. So we hope that they're not going to uh, uh, continue again. They're not going to uh, uh, carry on uh, what they were doing in the past uh, couple of months before 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 that. So um, so yeah, guys, great news. There is no dumping from the team. That's why the, the price is going up as well, which is which is great. And I'm thankful and thanks God. Uh, you know things are going to the right di direction. What do I think of the price? Is it is it uh, time to sell or is it time to buy for just me, guys? Um, you can see here that on Binance it went below 0082 was the bottom. And here before it was uh, 011. This was the, the, the price target when I said to you guys that I think it's smart to buy. And then to, you buy, let's say, 25% at 0 .0 0.011. If it drops to, to maybe 0 0.8, you buy another 25%. If it drops lower, every 25% correction, you add more and more. Obviously not with all your portfolio to not end up with like with this bloody Terra Luna. Just a certain percentage that you uh, plan to invest in JASME to scale them and DCA that percentage in, in, in uh, JASME and then you DCA that and then you're going to catch a, a good average price, you a good uh, bottom price and then you're going to be able to scale from there. Question is, uh, is it smart to sell now or smart to buy? Guys, uh, the, basically before the, the support was at 0 0.011. Now we dropped below that 0 0.0082, which is another like uh, about 30% below that uh, previous price. And But then we had the rebound here, guys. And here we have a um, huge support, one, one, two, three, four, five times. So um, to go above this, it's it's uh, not that easy. I mean, uh, Bitcoin is going to be in two, three months, next two, three months, I think, in this uh, basically um, uh, channel uh, between um, 28 and 35K. It's going to hovering around here for a, for a, for the next two, three months. So um, I'm, I wouldn't turn that extremely bullish that this is going to go to 35 cents straight away. Um, depends um, if you if you if you want to, to trade it or is it, are you here for a long term or you want to make more coins depends uh, your your strategy. But um, I, in my opinion, it's gonna it's gonna uh, hardly go uh, to five cents now, just like we did here, because now we are uh, much more bearish than we, when we were here. So it depends, guys, if you whether you want to trade it and then you sell maybe here 25, 30% of what you bought. Depends again. If you bought here on the bottom, then it makes sense for you to, to maybe sell 25% here. And then if it goes to uh, 0.012 or 11, you add that 25% and you have more coins. If you bought high, I wouldn't risk it, wouldn't trade because um, we are closer to the bottom than to the top. So I wouldn't uh, risk it to, to, to sell everything and then hoping that you're going to rebuy here at 0 0.0082 because there is a much chance that we're never going to get back to this level. So if, if you are here long term and you bought high, I wouldn't risk it. Um, if it drops again to here to this level, uh, if you consider, I'm not financial advisor, but if you, if you think it's not risky, to you add some more here so you lower your uh, average price. That would be, I think, a smart move and then just to, to wait for the bull run because as I said, we are closer to the bottom, like to the top. So I would risk it to trade, but uh, it's up to you guys. You know, if if this coin would jump, let's say, uh, to five cents, I would sell them. Like in two days, if it jumps to five cents in this condition, when Bitcoin is hovering around 30K, and if it would jump to five cents, I would sell them all. Because I'm sure there is going to be some correction, at least to two, two and a half cents, three cents, so I can rebuy a double amount. But until, and this is like a small pump, but until we don't see this parabolic pump of, of 5X, I wouldn't touch it, guys. Um, you, you tell me what you think uh, about it, but um, in my, that, that's, that's, that's my opinion. And uh, basically, um, obviously when we, when we go above this, uh, basically like about, about 12 uh, cents, uh, here from these 12 cents, you can't see because it wasn't listed on Binance before, but uh, from 12 uh, from 12 cents 
um, it, it went to, uh, you can see here, there was basically no support, uh, no resistance. It just went all the way up from, from uh, 12, from here, yeah, from, from 10 to 12 cents, it just shoot, shoot up to, to about 35 cents. So this is not correct. Uh, minus it was uh, 30, 33 or 35 cents. So there here was, was no support, no resistance, it's just, just parabolic, uh, like pump, like there is no tomorrow. There's like huge, huge pump. So guys, in my, that, that's, my, that's my opinion, guys. If you if you if you uh, if you bought here, uh, you can we can trade a small portion. But if you if you bought earlier at higher prices, I wouldn't risk it uh, and wouldn't even buy more if at this price. If it drops uh, lower than uh, to 0 0.01 or below that, then I would add to uh, lower my purchasing price. But uh, if 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 you bought high, I wouldn't add anything anymore. If it drops, you add, I would add. But at, at this point, I wouldn't add and wouldn't sell. I would wait. That's my opinion, guys. Um, uh, let me know down in the comment below what you do now, whether you're buying or selling, what you think, uh, how high Jasper can go and what's going to happen to it. Let me know down below. I'm curious uh, what you think about the project. Guys, if you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe, and see you in the next video. Bye-bye.